hello everyone i welcome to all of you for this session and in my last video i have covered a sketch part and in this video we will start with 3d modeling and we will try to know about some of the option of 3d modeling which are used in a creo so this is the interface of 3d modeling that that are drawn in a part so for making uh, going into part we have to go through this we have to go click on icon new uh, since uh, in my previous video we are moving to sketch part and but now we have to move part and by going part only we can make 3d object okay so click this okay and you can see this 3d modeling window is appearing and this is the total interface of 3d modeling and in my left side this is our table tree and these are the plane and these are the various options present in present for 3d modeling we have extrude option revolve shift sub plant we have some of the also geometrical features which are used for making our geometry okay and extrude as we can see as we know that extrude is used for material addition and in various other designing software like cat yeah material addition option is bad and for material removing it is a pocket but in creo extrude option is used for both purposes or also addition of material and also for removal of material and you can see we have this is option sketch by going sketch we have we have to draw a profile and we have to come out from the sketch part and then we will move extrude far for material addition okay and by going directly extrude option we can also extrude or add a material directly but a sketch part used when we have complicated shape or profile when we have to draw but when it is a simpler profile like a rectangle or circle then it is recommended that you can directly go to the extrude option and you can directly add a material on that so let us start with this sketch part and for going into sketch we have to select the plane from which plane you want to draw your profile so the selection of plane can be done from two places uh, like here at the center you can see these three plane are present and by dragging your mouse you can highlight you can see this plane are highlighting and whatever plane you want just click on that and that plane will be selected for our required drawing and another option for choosing your plane is from table tree from there you can also select the plane and you can move to plane whenever whichever you want for drawing your profile let us take top plane as you can see as i clicking in the top plane this plane is highlighting so just go to sketch and here yeah, various options are present similar to a sketch part and since we have let us make a rectangle we have to make center rectangle whatever shape and size you want just click on that select option define your dimension let us take as 20 and let us take this as 10 okay just by pressing ok you can you can you can come out from a sketch part just click ok and if you want to see when that where your profile is treated i mean if you want to see that uh, where is your profile is created just press default display by click click uh, by pressing ctrl plus d you can see this is our profile 
okay and for making this for sorry for material addition we have to make go to the option extrude and by dragging this icon we can add we can increase or decrease the height of our this solid object so if you want to a uh, any particular required height you can give from here only you can give height let us take 20 and press this ok now you can see now 3d object of rectangle is created press ctrl d as you can see our required profile is created there is also one option we can directly extrude this object by go directly going to a sketch we need not not go to a sketch part okay so for making this just select this object over here and as you can see as we have extruded this object so there will be there will be option highlighting that you, you are extruded one object by here only you can also delete edit or whatever you want you can do it let us take if you want to modify its dimension you just go to the dish icon and let us take as 30 as you can see the height of object is changed okay and if you want to delete it just go to the option delete and you can see the whole figure is deleted and for again moving to again moving to extrude object just go to the icon extrude ok as you can see I have gone through gone to extrude option and select the plane which plane you want to draw let us take top plane as you can see the top plane is highlighted go to the again option center rectangle give the dimension of that whatever you want let us take as 400 let us take as 350 and by pressing ok we can we can came out from the, that sketch part sorry extrude part okay press ok as you can see we can directly make 3d object by going to extrude option we need not 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 to go to this sketch part okay and if you want to delete it just click on that right click and you can see our profile is deleted one of the basic difference is that as you can see in the first part we have gone through the option sketch and when we want to delete that object that extrude extrude option is deleted but the sketch part is still there okay but when we go to the option extrude and when we want to delete the total profile is deleted okay but in this case part the extrude part is deleted first if you if you deleted extrude part extrude part will be deleted not the sketch part and if you want if you deleted the sketch part the sketch part will be deleted okay so these are the basic difference between these two one so let us take one application of that one and we will also understand this revolve option concept okay so let us try to make um, coffee mug okay so this option can this will be made with the help of revolve option and for making this we have to select any plane let us take front plane go to the sketch part and just make a, any line make a line okay go to select for defining a dimension let us take this as 300 okay press shift key button and mb2 button and perform panning operation 
now take again a line define its dimension let us take as 100 not 190 okay later uh, we can also define its dimension so no need to worry of that just come to so we have to make a close figure so you yeah. just click on the icon normal as you can see our figure is close now if you want to make it as cylindrical one go just came out from the sketch part go to the option revolve and for revolve option we need two things we have need any closed figure and also we required any axis okay so suppose this is axis along which the profile is revolved just press on that axis and you can see this cylindrical part is created okay so if you want to modify its any dimension dimension just go to this option revolve expand it go to sketch part right click on that and move to this icon edit and you can define that let us take as 120 okay if you need more then take 130 okay fresh okay and you can see its diameter is changed and it will be totally reflected in our 3d object and go to default display now for making this cup we need to sell this that means we have to hollow this and for this operation we will use sell and for making sell you are just click on this icon sell press that surface so you can see by clicking shell this shell is created that means it it makes a solid object into a hollow one if you want to add thickness you can directly add a thickness from here on okay press okay as you can see this cylindrical part is completed and we have to draw one handle for our cup go to default display select any plane suppose i want this plane okay so if it is not letting here you can select this select by by clicking on your table tree you can select your required plane for your sketch okay now as you can see i have get my required plane and i have moved to the option move to the option sketch and here we will make our handle so for making this we have to take a reference just click on the reference okay now go to the option spline make a spline i can go to spline make it smooth one so that it can be material addition will be takes place on it easily as you can see our profile is our spline is created click on the icon okay now go to the icon shape shape option basically used for addition of material along profile and as you can see this is our profile or trajectory along which i am going to add a material on that for making that go to the dish icon create or sweep edit option as you can see for drawing this as you can see these two line where intersect we have to draw our profile so as you can see i am going to draw one small circle okay 
press ok as you can see our uh, handle is created but as you can see uh, I'm zooming this this part and this part is not totally what we can say blend each other so for making this we have to go to the option again to sweep and for any modification we need to go to section right click on that just right click on that okay go to the option and you can see here the option merge option as you can see in option there is option merge ends okay so just click on that now you can see these two part are totally blend to each other okay and you can see almost our profile is sorry copy mug is created and we have to need some more modification on that we have to do some modification on that and for this purpose we will perform some operation okay just press ctrl d and we will make this surface as round by going to the option 3d round click on that surface and by dragging this icon you can increase or decrease the roundness value okay so take it as 15 okay as you can see this surface is round one and for making this also if you want to add roundness on that you can do it just click on that add the round value take a step okay let's take five okay so almost our coffee mug is created and if you want to write down some text on that so we have to go to the option offset so for making that one since it is a cylindrical object so it will be not uh, not uh, not we will not able to write any thing on that and we will not also to draw some part of this sketch and for making it this is possible one you have to make any plane offset that means we have to create any plane with certain distance from that and we have to draw profile on on that and there only from there only we can extrude or expand our object okay so just click on plane and select the plane similar to that one you want to offset take it as 150 as you can see this profile is sorry this plane is created a reference to this plane click that plane and go to option sketch go to the icon sketch and give the area up to how much you want to to write just write as you can see we have to cancel this one because we have taken our uh, space from vertical vertical direction to her to downward since we are coming from the uh, what we can say vertical vertical to height in downward direction so we have to select from it from downward direction to upward so just downward to upward and just write 
test whatever you want you can see okay and just to if you want to customize it dimension place escape key and if you want to decrease its size you can do that one also okay so make this size 20 have no 25 is better one okay so we have written that one okay press control this and select the surface where you want to project that one okay i want to select this surface go to the option offset by this going to this option okay expand feature now go to the icon option a sketch region define okay. so which plane you want to to draw or project that profile okay select that sketch select that plane and go to the icon sketch and select the option project and we have to select their loop uh, and so some of you think that uh, actually i'm using various types of option for 3d modeling so you need not not to worry about that one and in my next coming video i will cover all these options that today i'm going to use today i'm using this one okay so just make loop and click on the letter as you can see this is clear similarly again for every letter we have to click on click once and similarly do that so almost we have done this fresh okay okay if you want to add height you can also do that fresh okay as you can see here that here this is text are projected okay and press ctrl d if you want to view this press this projected part right click on at first select that one press right click press the click height and if you want to hide this also first select right click on that hide okay and you can see this text are projected on that so whatever you want to write on that you can do it do this with this offset and plain offset method okay and if you want to add some color on that go to the icon annotate sorry not in annotate we have to go to render appearance we have to select a color and select the surface where you want to color it okay press control button for selecting more than one surface okay select okay once again you can do that for this shape okay and if you want to change the color of that portion you can also do that okay the color is changed so whatever color you want you can do that one 
here you can see uh, since I have used the spline option that why is not coming so much smooth if you want to make it more smooth then shall go for the arc option and by there only you can get the smooth surface okay and so as you can see our copy mark is created so in my next video I will deal some of the options sweep revolves and whatever i today have used uh, like swift and offset plane that i will cover in my next video okay so thank you for watching this video